Hey guys, Kirk Cameron here. You might recognize me from the classic sitcom Growing Pains, the Growing Pains movie, or this video. You know, I've done a lot of movies over the years. Some of them were pretty good. Watch my new movie, Life Mark, if you haven't. But I keep feeling like the Christian film industry is missing out on some absolutely gold ideas. So without further ado, here's some great Christian movies that just need to be made. Here's the first idea. Hunger Games for God. In this movie, teams from several districts are sent to fight in a Bible trivia contest to the death. Sounds fun. Okay, picture this. A live action, gritty Larry Boy reboot where we find out how far everyone's favorite cucumber hero will go to avenge his parents' death. Will he save Bumbleberg? I don't know. Taken to heaven. Liam Neeson's daughter is kidnapped by a group of independent fundamentalist Baptists. Neeson is getting too old for this kind of thing, so he leaves her to her fate of wearing denim skirts and white tennis shoes for the rest of her life. Sad. Night at the Creation Museum. Starring Ken Ham, this movie would focus on an evil liberal school board and its attempt to stop a public school class from enjoying a field trip to a creation museum. The dinosaurs and other lovable characters come to life in a wacky adventure to save the field trip. Fun. Breaking good. Down on his luck, a seminary professor is forced to cook and sell casseroles to a hot dish cartel on the side to provide for his family with an inspirational soundtrack provided by the Newsboys. Left Behind, a millennial edition. In this exciting end times movie, uh, nothing happens. It just kind of ends. Very anticlimactic. Heaven is for real, but you probably won't have a vision of it. In this heartwarming movie, a boy goes into a coma. He does not have a vision of heaven. He gets better. So yeah, that's kind of it. Spider-Man, but Christian. Top Gun, but Christian. Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, but Christian. I don't know, I'm just spitballing here. Doctor Strange 3, The Great Physician. Kirk Cameron loses the use of his hands in a devastating car accident. He finds a clan of Tibetan monks that will not only let him use his hands, but will also grant him moderate acting ability. And finally, the Christian Avengers, Endgame. Joining together Christian heroes like Bible Man, Salty, and of course, yours truly. This is gonna be epic, fam. Well, those are my awesome movie ideas. Hey, if you're a movie producer and you wanna make one of these, I'll trade you the rights for one delicious stew. Here's a really exciting one. From Seaver to Believer. A Kirk Cameron biopic starring Kevin Sorbo. Kevin Sorbo? Really? Disappointed! Oh, hi. Satan here. I just wanted to tell you, as the father of lies, I'm so proud of the Babylon Bee for spreading right-wing misinformation under the guise of satire. Just like me, they're tricking grandmas on Facebook every day, so like and subscribe or whatever you do you.